welcome back to another video you guys and coming at you from Malaysia from our facility this is the first video in a group of videos that we're going to be giving you guys updates on what's happening here at the facility we are here to be present for three different groups of animals coming in uh, over the next maybe five or six days so that is super exciting. There's some animals that I've been working very hard in obtaining and they are hopefully coming and going to show up very soon. You will see those animals in the future videos. All the glass behind me is going in. We're short a few cages, so we're not gonna do like the full highlight of this entire wall, but these cages are amazing. There's a lot of features in these that I wanna be showing you guys and highlighting. We're just not quite ready yet to do so, but you'll get a little teaser with the with the cages in the background. So today I am going to show you guys Boiga Synodon. I now have a handful of morphs. I think it's going to be an interesting video, something that you don't get to see very often. And we have some morph animals here, uh, some surprises that I didn't even expect myself. So I have a lot to show you guys. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the most normal one and then we're gonna get fancy as the video goes. This is a normal Malaysian locality Boiga Synodon. It is deep in shed. It is, however, a good representative specimen of healthy body weight, um, normal-ish pattern, just like a normal wild type pattern. The color, of course, is muted because it's deep in shed, but it's the best example that I had at the moment to show you guys. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this one. Normal Boiga Synodon from Malaysia. So this is a wild type Boiga Synodon from the Philippines. And once you start to familiarize yourself with Synodon, your eyes will start picking out the little differences that set these apart. Uh, most of what I see visually is some strange colors. A lot of times it's that kind of dark green color. The bands themselves look different. There's color inside the bands. Just a lot of really weird idiosyncrasies with the Philippine stuff. It just doesn't look quite the same and it stands out. So also from the Philippines, we have these weird kind of patternless washed out ones. What they are, I don't know. It kind of remains a mystery to me. They seem like they're way smaller than normal Synodon. We have a pair and they just don't seem to be attaining the same sizes as the Synodon that I'm used to. You'll see some bigger ones towards the end of this video, but I am happy to see that this snake has grown and has put on some size, but it's still for its age, it's just a very small snake but very different, very weird, kind of patternless. There is some faint pattern in there, but I also don't really see any black pigment. So I don't know what this is. I don't exactly know what to call it or how to categorize it, but I'm just happy that I have a pair. So now moving back to Malaysia, Boiga Synodon, this is one of our melanistics. In fact, this is one of the females that laid eggs and I'm gonna be showing you some babies here shortly. This is a color phase that I think is really, really amazing. I just like how it's like hyper pigmented. There's still gold and some like little gold flakes, dust showing through, I guess you could say. It's just a really interesting color phase. The head is crazy. It's like a super dark green with like black dusting and then yellow chin. Just a really cool looking snake. I think this color scheme is really amazing. So here's a couple of our babies. I had some people in Europe trying to convince me that the babies would not be melanistic, but I think that these look way darker than what they should be for baby synodon. So if I was a betting man, I would say that these are melanistic babies. The heads are dark. There's a lot of black coming in all on the side. This one's in blue, but you can still clearly see it. So I think that these are 
going to grow into being the the dark synodon so time will tell on these we have two clutches i think we have 12 babies total and they're like about two months apart in age not these two but uh, the clutches themselves are like two months apart. So this is a new arrival. This is an Indonesian animal and it was sold to me as a T positive albino or it's hypomelanistic or I'm not really sure what it is. There's no black pigment on this animal. It does not have red pupils, so it's not like a true albino but it is definitely a morph. Whatever you call it, it is an amazing snake. When it first arrived here, I wasn't here, I didn't see it. It looked kind of waxy and it looked like, like something that you would call like a ghost morph or whatever. And it didn't eat right away. And I suggested to my manager that do you think it's in shed? Maybe that's why it's not eating. I told him to leave the food in overnight. And when he came back in the morning to check, this snake had both shed and fed. And now that I'm seeing it in person, I can really appreciate it for what it is. It's just a really interesting snake. I never dreamed that I would have so many different morphs of Synodon. I don't know why with this species, they just keep coming my way. I have, I don't know how that happened, but I'm definitely not gonna complain. But that is a really, really cool snake. I saw it yesterday for the first time in person, and I think I thought that it was looking male to me. Yeah, it's looking, it looks still, I'm gonna say male on this one, so. I'll probe to be sure, but it, it looks male. So whatever it is, I don't care. I think it's an amazing snake. All right, you guys, so this is where it gets interesting. We're going from the T-positive hypo animal to this one. This is the one of the two females leucistic animals that I got last year, and I shipped them over here. Clearly these animals are doing really, really well here in the facility. Um, this is a girl and she is always on display just like this. But she's actually kind of a sweetheart, but she just likes to do her defense display. <laughs> so um, if you take a look, you can see there's a lot of yellow because I'm gonna show you another animal after this and I want you guys to compare. I think I have a couple of different uh, types of whatever these are. There's a lot of yellow. There's like a yellow stripe down the dorsal. There's yellow scales down the side. Still transparent. Even the T positive is a, quite a bit transparent. Not as much as this one. This animal is awesome. So take a good look. Put this in your memory. We're moving on to the next one. I'm gonna give you guys something really cool to see. Okay, you guys, and this is where things get really, really interesting. You've seen the animals that I have presented to you guys as leucistics, and then I got this one. This happens to be a male. It came together with that T-positive albino or hypo or whatever. The eyes on this one are black. So to me, this, is more typical of a leucistic, whereas the other animals, I don't know what they are, they have light eyes, and the other animals have uh, a very visible, kind of more prominent yellow dorsal, and this one doesn't. Now you may see a stripe, but because this animal is so transparent, I think that's actually its spine. So it doesn't really seem like it's the same morph or color phase as the other two. So I'm just really tripping out. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. I don't know why 
this species keeps coming to me in all these different color phases and morphs. I don't know why that is, but I'm not going to complain. But that is just crazy. If you guys remember the other animals up against the sunlight, they're very, very transparent. And I think that what we're looking at is bone, is a skeleton, it's the spine. That's the white. <laughs> but it is so cool, my gosh. And I need to probe these animals, but uh, this one also looks male, but it's very difficult to tell sometimes on these. So I'll definitely be probing and kind of figuring out a game plan on how to proceed, but that is cool. So that's gonna do it for the video, Boiga Synodon. We have a lot of different animals represented here in our collection in Malaysia. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's always a joy for me to share all these because I just think they're so cool. They are underrepresented in the hobby and we're doing really cool things with them. So we'll see what the future holds, have no idea. Maybe some more morphs will continue falling in my lap. I have no idea. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Take care.